Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about adjectives and adverbs. Let's get started. An adjective is a word or set of words that modifies, in other words, describes a noun or pronoun. Remember that adjectives may come before or after the word they modify. Now let's have a look at the examples over here. This is a cute cat. Now the adjective cute modifies or describes the noun cat. And note that it comes before the noun. And in the sentence, this cat is cute. Again, the adjective cute modifies the noun cat, but it comes after the noun. On the other hand, an adverb is a word or set of words that modifies verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. Remember that usually adverbs modify verbs and they tell us how, how often, when, or where something was done. Let's have a look at the example over here. We walked really slowly. Now the adverb slowly modifies the verb walked. How we walked. Remember that adjectives can modify nouns, for example, girl, boy, etc. Or pronouns, for example, we, it, etc. Now let's have a look at the examples below. Lily is an honest person. Note that the adjective honest modifies or describes the noun person. And in this sentence, the movie was awful. The plot is simply boring. The adjective awful modifies or describes what kind of movie it was. And the adjective boring describes the plot. Remember that if something is, the adjective ends in ing. And if it makes you feel something, the adjective ends in ed. Let's have a look at the examples below. He is excited because the event is exciting. Note that the adjective excited modifies the pronoun he, and it tells us how or what the event made him feel. And the adjective exciting describes what the event is. And in this sentence, I am annoyed because the whole situation is annoying. Note that the adjective annoyed describes what I felt about the whole situation. And the adjective annoying describes what the whole situation is. Now, sometimes we use two or more adjectives together. Let's have a look at the table below. A nice sunny morning. Now, there are two adjectives describing the noun morning. The adjective nice describes quality or opinion. And the adjective sunny is a fact. And in this sentence, two intelligent young ladies. There are three adjectives modifying the noun ladies. The adjective two is the quantity or the number of ladies. And the adjective intelligent describes the quality or opinion about the ladies. And the adjective young is a fact. And in this sentence, 
a beautiful large round wooden table. There are sets of adjectives describing the noun table. Beautiful, the quality or opinion. Large round wooden is the fact. Now there are times when we use two or more fact adjectives. Let's have a look at the table below. A big old round wooden table. Now in this sentence, we used several fact adjectives. Big describes the size of the table. Old, the age of the table. Round, shape of the table. Wooden, material or origin of the table. And in this sentence, new white tennis shoes. There are three fact adjectives used to describe the noun shoes. New describes the age, white, the color, and tennis, the purpose. And in this sentence, a tall, young Polish boy. The adjective tall describes the size of the boy. Young, the age of the boy. Polish, the origin of the boy. On the other hand, an adverb is a word or set of words that modifies a verbs telling us how, how often, when, or where something was done. For example, the cars drove fast. The adverb fast describes how the cars drove. B, an adverb, is also used to modify adjectives, making them stronger or weaker. Have a look at the example below. Anne looked absolutely amazing. The adverb absolutely modifies or describes the adjective amazing. How amazing? C. An adverb is used to modify other adverbs, changing their degree or precision. For example, you're speaking too loudly. The adverb too describes the adverb loudly. It tells us how loud. Degree.